Okay, hi everybody. Um, so I'm being a little quiet. I'm walking through the park right now. I just got done with a meditation class, kind of a first thing for me, which was freaking awesome. I left Emma with her grandmother, and now I'm gonna head to Price Chopper to see my fiance. And the squirrels are crazy over here. Um, just wanted to give you a lowdown on what's going on this week. Um, we are doing some more stuff with Twilight's Pasture. So that's coming along nice. And then I, uh, I have Emma. Emma has early head start. She has a little early head start teacher that night. It's really nice. It like, comes and teaches her how to finger paint and her colors and stuff. And I feel like there's somebody sitting in this car behind my van. If anybody sees this and I get abducted, send them to me. <laughs> I'm gonna be quiet for a second until I get my car. Okay, so that was really creepy. There's a guy sitting in the truck behind me, just kind of chilling out, checking everybody out, and I'm not sure why. So, um, in the long run, yeah, so that's, that's kind of what's going on lately. Um, like I said, we're getting ready to work on Twilight's Pasture and get that stuff set up and ready. Um... Found some gopher holes out there too that need to be taken care of. So I'm gonna go ahead. Um, now that I've given you the update on what's going on, I'm going to do some video probably tomorrow, either after I get done. I have to go to work in the morning, so I'll work in the morning and then I come home and help Austin with that, and um, kind of go from there. So. Um, yeah. All right. I'm going to peace out and see you tomorrow. And I'm going to lock my door because this guy just got out of the car back there. And I'm not sure what he's doing. But all right. So peace out. I'm going to take off and I'll see you in the morning. Thanks. Uh, good morning, everybody. It is 730. My music might be a little loud. It is 730 and I'm on my way to work. So, um, I'm there today only until 11, so I'm 8 to 11 today, which is just three hours, there's nothing major. Um, when I get home, I'm assuming my husband will have the house cleaned up a little, and, jeez, I'm going to work with it like hell. That's okay. Um, hopefully he'll have the house cleaned up a little. And I'll be able to start working on Twilight's field. We're going to be uh, pounding posts today and filling some of the gopher holes, like I said. So, uh, I guess we'll see. Um, as far as I know, our friends Dakota and Carlin are going to be over. Uh, well, Carlin's going to be over later. Dakota's going to come over to help us pound posts, and uh, I guess I'm taking Carlin to work, and then after Carlin gets home, we're all going to just chill out, but they like to come over and see Emma. Um, she loves her Uncle D and her Aunt Carl, so, um, yeah, it's going to be a fun day. Alright, I'll see everybody when I get out of work. Thanks. Okay, everybody, I finally was able 
to get out here to show you Twilight's paddock area. And don't mind my hair and my, my face. I'm a little um tired still. Emma woke up late, so I got a little time to sleep in and we haven't bothered to get out of our pajamas. So we're doing some horsey stuff in our pajamas today. <laughs> um, all right, I had to walk down the road a little ways, so maybe she'll say good morning. Can you say good morning? Say good morning to you too. Say good morning. <laughs> oh, that smile, it kills you, right? All right, so I don't know if you guys can see the posts. There they all are. So that's what we've been working on. Um, there's, I bought 40 posts and we've pounded 25 now. So I have 15 left and then we'll end up um, going to get Twilight after uh, I get fencing done. Tomorrow I should have insulators and T-post caps for all the fencing and stuff. I almost got hit by a car. It was a little scary. That guy did not slow down. Um, so yeah, I should be able to pick those up. Uh, my, my boss slash landlord ordered those from the hardware store for me. So they should be ready for me to grab from the hardware store any day now. I'm gonna try to run her through the grass. This is not fun with a stroller. Mm. Oh, sorry. Strollers and grass don't mix, so I'll just stand here for a second and finish talking. Um, so right now basically all I'm doing is kind of getting like the tack room and feed room set up. Everything is pretty much done with her Doll. I think I can let her sit there for two seconds because we're right around the corner. I'm not gonna like take my eyeball off of her though. I don't trust people around here. Okay, so I have one board left on toilet stall to pound in. And that's my new gate. So the gate's doing good. Her stall is all set up, and all of the hardware is pounded in. Oh, ooh, the sun! All of the hardware is pounded in and like put in place. And then um, the only other thing I gotta do besides you know like the simple stuff, I have a couple of gopher holes that we have to fill in in our pasture, <laughs> and. Then we'll be done. That way my mare is not breaking her legs. Um, that would not be fun. That would not be cool. So I'm being a good pony mom and thinking of that and saying, no, we're not causing issues. And we will be doing it safely. So yeah, I'm a little tired still. So I'm a little like out of it trying to talk to you guys, tell you guys what's going on. Um, I'm trying to get things done, but yeah, so that's been my morning. I've been, I cleaned up a bunch of my tack. Uh, my side saddle is going to stay up at the house right now so that I can continue to, because it's like really stiff right now. I'm going to be, I have already done one needs foot oil treatment and I'm going to be doing another pretty soon um so i'm gonna keep doing that until our wedding or until my saddle's ready what hi i know we're going over there hold on <laughs> um as you can tell like i said we're both still pretty tired so we've been having a long day we helped my mother-in-law and her fa and my like my husband my fiance's so I had the family move into their new house yesterday, so we didn't get home until like 10, 30, 11. And I'm normally in bed around that time. 
<laughs> I usually get into bed like 9 30 10 o'clock because my husband comes home he smokes a cigarette he eats and we go to bed so yeah that's my life this week uh and everything's been really hectic I got really like caught up and wanted to do this sooner but it didn't work out so I apologize for that anyways so that's my video for this week and I appreciate you guys being a part of all of this. I'll see you later. Thanks, guys. Bye. This is get what I get for being at the barn. <clears throat> Hi guys. Did you miss me? Oh yeah? <laughs> I think they missed me. All six of them. <laughs>